I went through a lot of names. I was Ozzy Maddox for a while. I wanted to be Corey Gold, didn't make it. Uh, Reggie Starr, that would have been intense, didn't make it. And But finally I settled on Ari Lennox, it was just perfect. Well, I was watching one of my favorite movies, Secret Garden, and the girl's name was Mary Lennox, and I thought it would be cool to just remix her name. She's like spicy, so I just wanted something fly like that. Well, baby Ari Lennox was a, a terrible child. Um, I <laughs> was always in trouble, always getting suspended, always strange from birth. Like in preschool, everyone was playing and being like well socialized. I was eating ants. On a, I don't know why, but. <laughs> So I was always a ratchet child in school. I used to think the schools were the issue, but I'd, I've come to the conclusion it was most likely me, you know? Like, uh, I, I just was always moving to different schools, but I, I hated it. Um, singing was just always my thing, you know? So <laughs> Back when I was at Wilson High School, because I went to a million high schools, and I used to wear this Betty White looking wig. It was, it was just, terrible on me. This girl, um, she caught me in the bathroom and she was like, girl, why are you wearing that wig? I was like, because I want to. And she was like, oh, you don't want it with me. And I was like, what is, why, why? Why is it getting this intense? Like for what? So those were the times when I was always on the verge of getting jumped because <laughs> I was always like doing what I wanted to do, so and sticking up for myself. I knew I couldn't trust myself because I couldn't stay at one school. I couldn't get it together in high school. So I was like, I'm not going to college. Like, I'm not wasting my mom's money. And I did, I, I went to bartending school. I went to CNA uh, school, certified nursing assistant school. And uh, it didn't really work out, so. Yeah, I, I had no other choice but to do like YouTube and pursue this music. Whether I was gonna make it or not, you know, I, there's no choice because everything else I just couldn't stick with. Other than Uber, I, I was an Uber driver for a while, successfully, because I could quit every night, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> One time I was picking up these group of boys and everything was cool. They were like, oh, you're so cool. You're such a sweet driver. And one guy, he was just chilling. And I was like, oh, he's the sweet one. Next thing I know, he pukes everywhere. And it's, it's on my freaking shoulder. It's in my hair. And they're like, oh, I'm so sorry. But I, I was just, I was mortified. I was horrified, terrified. But I drove them home. Not if, and, Nicely, too, so yeah. When I was doing YouTube covers, I peeped that Beyonce dropped either Drunk in Love or her album. I don't know which one, if it all happened at the same time, I don't remember. But I was like, okay, I never catch the waves. So I was like, let me just hurry up and do this. So. I, I found a genuine um, in those jeans instrumental and I just freaked drunk in love to it. And I, I put on my two wigs and my little lip gloss and I just sung my heart out. So my reaction when drunk in love blew up like that, I was like, oh, I'm about to be signed to Beyonce. Like that was my whole reaction. I knew she was gonna be my big sister slash mom. I knew I was about to be adopted. So, but that, that didn't, that wasn't the case. That was Chloe and Haley's uh, life, not mine. <laughs> oh, I'm beyond grateful for YouTube and SoundCloud. Um, they are the originals for the reason for my fan base. Like before Dreamville like saved me, <laughs> I, I had YouTube and all different types of people from all over just happy to hear me sing covers. Man, I just got this job at public storage and I knew I was gonna change my life. Like it was $10 an hour. 
Um, I just knew I was gonna be one of these managers of one of the storage like units one day and I was gonna make big money. Like this was the start of a great stable career. <laughs> and then I get the call from Eve talking about, yeah, we need you to fly tomorrow to LA for some J. Cole session. I was like, what the hell? I don't care who it's for. I'm not getting on that flight. And <laughs> I just got this job. This is way more important. <laughs> I was wowing. I was insane. But that just shows how much fear can like take over your life. Like I was scared, I think, of, of I don't know, rejection. I was scared to get on that plane, honey. Like I, it was just, but I got drunk and I did it. So <laughs> with my fear of flying, like I've always used alcohol as a means to like escape and like face, I guess, halfway face the flying and Cole was the first person because like I was excited about getting on these flights like I'm finally doing it but he was the first one like but you're still drinking to get through it so technically you're not fully facing it and he was like why don't you try next time to really be one with the plane like hear are the noises and all that stuff so you can like really get used to it so recently I finally just got on a flight without drinking and it was like such a relief. And I'm just happy that Cole was able to like encourage that. So like, yeah, he's, he's a great guide, great guidance. Yeah, so I left that session not knowing if I would ever get signed. But, um, you know, Eve and everybody stayed in contact with me. And then Eve, I, I just was like, okay, I'm probably not gonna get signed because nobody was talking about signing me. But then I think that summer he started hinting like, yeah, you know, we're just, we're thinking about signing you. It was just real casual and I was like, what? Like, like really just gonna casually drop this? Like, but I didn't believe it um, because where's the contract, you know? But eventually that contract happened. It was, it was real cool and, and fun. It was, I think me, Justin and Eve at a hotel lobby, we just, we did the signing. I wanted my little picture. Um, he was like, you know, you don't gotta, you don't gotta post this. <laughs> like, it was just real, like, it was real ratchet. But yeah, <laughs> it was beautiful though. If you Google the definition of an Aries, that's uh, totally me. Like, um, impulsive, a bit delusional, um, firecracker, a little lustful, um, sweet and giving, but definitely crazy. So. <laughs>